Challenge tonight. This tale of the tape brought to you by Modelo Especial. Grew with a fighting spirit since 1925. Derek Lewis, 33 years old. Alexander Volkov will be 30 later this month. Volkov, the taller man by four inches. Slightly less pronounced in the reach department where Volkov will have a one-inch advantage. All right, now for the particulars. Back inside to the venerable Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 30 wins, six losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the number five ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Alexander Drago. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a brawler holding a professional record, 20 wins, 5 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 265 and 1 half pound. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the number 2 ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Derek the Black Beast. the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one in the heavyweight division. Brittany Palmer, thank you very much. High stakes here for Derek Lewis and his counterpart, Alexander Volkov. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Lewis is in black, Alexander Volkov in gray. And that fight that Lewis had against Verduma was October 2017, and, and Derek forced to pull out just a few hours before the fight, but he's worked hard on his posture. He's stretching pre- and post-workout now, and feels like his back hasn't felt this good in years. We'll see if it pays dividends tonight. Well, there's been a lot of guys with back injuries, but you, you, you got to wonder what he could do to fix that, whether it's surgically or through some sort of long-term therapy, but he continues to fight. It's very difficult to train when you have that kind of an injury. Right. Almost impossible, Joe. I mean, the fact that he said it limited his training a lot, so I'm curious to see what kind of output he has even in this first round. Did you ask him what he does to supplement with it for endurance? Well, he doesn't have any supplements. He just says, I got a round that I'm going to try to take this guy out in. That's what he said. Wow. So let's see what Ooh. happens here. He got tagged. Front kick to the body. He's hurt. That body shot hurt. Him. Him. all over him. The knees and the teak kick to the belly already oh. hurt so bad. Lewis loads up, nothing doing there. Strong start for Drago. He's not going to go out easy, Derek Lewis. I'm not going to make this easy. Drago just shook his left hand. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Counter right from Volkov. Huge right uppercut. Lands. Derek Lewis trying to tough it out. Something might have hurt his eye or his nose because you don't react like that unless it lands really wrong. I'm not sure. See, his eye fight. might be, it fight. could be his orbital, but he's toughing it out. He don't care. Let's see what happens here. Pay attention to Volkov's left hand. He was shaking fight. it earlier. Fight. He accidentally poked him. Stop. Good Stop. sportsmanship by Volkov to even say that. Yeah. He could have kept going. Nobody would have known. Volkov's pointing to his mouth, though. What? He's saying that he fish hooked him. You ready to fight? He's saying why you, something. Why are you stopping the fight? It's okay. It's time to fight. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what he's saying. I think he was saying that Vol Volkov was stopping it himself, but there was no eye poke. He just stopped because he thought he was poking him in the eye. And Volkov could have kept going. Yeah, you can lose a fight for calling timeout. Yep. Yeah. Two minutes have gone by. Volkov goes high with the kick. Nothing to it. I may be mistaken, but I felt like he was pointing towards his mouth. Saying that Derek Lewis like reached into his mouth or something. Huh. I, I don't know though. That was confusing. He's already landed some big shots to the body of Lewis, and he keeps going to the body with those punches and teeth kicks. And I'm being told there was no eye poke, so Herb Dean largely did his job there. Volkov switching up the footwork here early. Well, I'm sure the truck will isolate it. Wow, what a crazy looking takedown he attempted. <laughs> Derek Lewis has had a penchant for fighting well or at least surviving well off of his back in his UFC tenure. 
Trying to control posture here. Just over two minutes to go in our opening round. And Lewis uses that underhook to get back up to his feet. And keep those hands tight. Oh, oh, that's oh. the hand that he said he needed to land, and there it is. He only needs one of those. Yeah, that's what makes Derek Lewis so fun to watch. Hammers. Oh, big takedown. So the high amplitude takedown here from Alexander Volkov. Let's see what he can do with it. Short elbows. We might not see Derek Lewis get up from this. He might just be okay with just waiting it out, starting to wait for the round to start over. We've seen Lewis rally from adversity before. He got dropped by Tim Johnson early, came back to win that fight. Slow start against Shamil Abdurahimov in a main event. But not necessarily the start he was looking for tonight, though. There's definitely no quit in Derek Lewis, though. I mean, you could hurt him, and he could still knock you out well, with one punch, as you saw. He grabbed his eye, took three steps back. The second Volkov came at him, he threw an overhand right, almost got it. Volkov's taking his back here. And this is that brown belt he was talking about. But let's see if he can utilize it and get the finish here. I mean, he's got the back. He may switch to the arm. He may switch to the left arm. The way he's holding the wrist there. It's definitely there, Joe. You're exactly right. But he's not setting the legs up exactly like he's going to do that. Yeah, he might switch. Look at this. Good yes. job by Volkov staying on the back. Uh-oh. Nice by Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis. Not a man you want on top of you in this situation. Under 30 seconds to go in the round. Big elbow by Lewis. He's just so strong. Oh! Ground and pound from Derek Lewis here. Crowd getting behind the Black Beast. In the can. Tonight's corner can is brought to you by Body Armor. Switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of the UFC. More natural, more electrolytes, better sports drink. Grab yours right, at participating breathe. Speedway stores. Sit Bob Perez, take it away. Significant right, swelling in the make left some eye of Derek Lewis. I need you breathing. Here you go. Hold. All right. You're fighting in Volkov range. I need you fighting in Derek Lewis range. You have to stay inside of his kicking range, buddy. He's going to keep attacking the belly, okay? So we have to close that gap. Hands stay high, and you're hitting one shot at a time. I need fluidity in your strikes. I need a few punches. Go to ground. He's giving that under every time. On Big punch lands. And as we saw, Volkov is the one who actually stops, but there was no eye poke. That was just the glove straight into the eye. And we saw here a big punch, and then he goes straight to the gut, and that hurt Derek Lewis. But how about the toughness? I mean, he came back. He did not quit. He's getting hit with big punches by Volkov. Gets put down a couple times, and then a nice takedown from a trip, a double underhook, body lock trip here. And big ground and pound by Derek Lewis at the end of that round. He was able to reverse Volkov after that takedown and just land big shots to end that round. That's a tough round to score. UFC 229, Khabib versus McGregor is presented by Harley Davidson. When you fire up an HD motorcycle, adrenaline kicks in and refuses to tap out. Check it out at h-d.com slash explore. And Derek Lewis's corner is exactly right. Look how far out he is. I mean, that's Volkov range right there. You can't be eating those kicks because what he'll do is he'll jab you, tape you, and kick you. And then when you run in, he's going to knee you or elbow you. And that's what we've seen so far. But Derek Lewis needs to get in that pocket ASAP. Oh, nice right, right hand. Oh, he stiffened up. Lewis covering up. Lewis looking tired. Yeah, he's in trouble. But he will always throw those punches. Always balls. has that one, though. Always has that punch. And it looks like a, a potentially serious orbital injury for Derek Lewis that maybe is affecting him in the fight. That's the second time he's gone for that takedown. Yeah, the left eye does seem like it's swelling underneath the left eye, but what's interesting is they have the end swell on the right eye right. between rounds, so that might be bothering him as well. I think it could be orbital, like you guys were saying. That's when you usually see people grabbing at their eye like that. It's supposed to be one of the most painful things you can do. Thank God I haven't dealt with it, but I could imagine that big hand of Volkov in my eye might do it too. You just keep moving that head, though. It's the right hand again, right to that eye. As a bantamweight, when you watch heavyweights fight, 
Does, does it kind of freak you out how it's, little they move? Well, <laughs> that doesn't freak me out. It freaks me out how big and giant they are and that only one of those punches is just like, it'll probably knock me into next year. They're enormous. Oh, big oh, jab. That was a big jab. jab. I mean, the human brain can only take so much pressure. I don't care how big you are. These guys are nailing each other. Air Asia, now everyone can fly. Volkov seemingly not in any rush when he has had Derek Lewis on the ropes. Continues to bide his time. Three minutes now to go round two. Why? Well, I just think he's got to be cautious because of that. Because Derek Lewis can always fire back and knock you into another dimension. Lewis is nine UFC knockouts tied for second most in UFC heavyweight history. Six of those on the ground. Right now, Lewis is playing the game where he's pulling Volkov back into his power. You see him pulling? He's trying to get Volkov to come to him to land the big strike, but Volkov's not biting. What Volkov could do is start using some jabs, start using those teeth kicks, start beating up the legs of Lewis. Don't just look in the mirror is what I call this. You're staring at the mirror, some fakes. Get Derek Lewis biting on something. Right now, they're going speed for speed, shot for shot. There needs to be something in the middle to fill the gaps for these guys to offset each other. Nice, that can land all day. That's the type of stuff Volkov should be doing nonstop. Volkov switched stances quite a bit as well. You see him now, he's moved back to orthodox. He was fighting southpaw for a bit. But I, I completely agree with you about attacking those legs. And the body. I mean, anytime he's hit Derek in the body, it almost seems to affect him. Pretty good counter right from Alexander Volkov. Much more of a volume guy than Derek Lewis is. If I'm Volkov, I'm firing left hip kicks to the gut of Derek Lewis for the rest of the fight. And then bring it high, just like he did there. Just keep going to the legs, keep going to the body. That'll drop Lewis's hands, take the wind out of his sails, and keep, take away some of that power. He's doing that front kick to the body over and over again here. Jabs and teeth kicks all day will get the win for Volkov. And if Volkov fakes more, they'll have more openings. Ooh. Ooh. Nice job by Volkov using that length. You know, we talked a lot about Stefan Struve in the past, maybe not maximizing his length. Volkov uses it well. The Irish are already singing. <laughs> Lewis at times can lull you into a false sense of not security, but comfort. And then he comes with those lunch boxes. 45 seconds here in round two. Ooh. Beautiful inside leg kick for Volkov. Counter right from the Black Beast. Always dangerous. His ability to explode. I mean, if he could just figure out how to fix his back problem. Goodness, how? He's throwing that from the hip, and it's still landing. Left high, yep. Upper top oh, lost the mouthpiece. Volkov lost his mouthpiece. I don't know if Herb Dean has seen it. He's seen it. He's going to pick it up. You put it in. <laughs> you put it in, bro. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You put it in. <laughs> what? I don't think he knew it was his mouthpiece. Oh, wow. <laughs> So that is the end of round two. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by Body Armor. Switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, more electrolytes, right, better sports down, drink. Grab yours at participating Speedway stores. I need you to breathe for me. And I need you to listen like you never listened before, buddy. We are down two rounds. Most important fight of your life. I need you to turn this up. You're just backing up, letting him play his range. He keeps attacking the belly. Close that gap. We have zero to lose at this point. We're down two. Kill or be killed. I need to finish this fight. It's the only shot we have, but you can't do it from the range that you're at, and you can't do it backing up. I need you to push forward, get in his face, lock him up, put him on his back, and let's finish this fight. That two three is there. He is dropping that right hand every time. Every time you throw that two, that right hand drops. Come back with that let's three. Go. Come back with it. That's some rock solid advice from Derek Lewis's corner. Great Round corners. three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. A huge five minutes here in terms of the landscape of this UFC heavyweight division. Derek Lewis, Alexander Volkov. We'll see who emerges here as heavyweight contender. Less than five minutes now to go. 
And his corner minced no words. And you can see Derrick Lewis looking to unload bombs. Man, fakes, faints would go a long way with these giant gentlemen. Well, we saw some earlier from Volkov. We're just not seeing much anymore. You see how they're just staring and then yeah. going. So there's no break in rhythm, there's right. no timing. It's just like, all right, when you go, I'll be faster than you. No, yeah. I'll hit harder than you. He's giving them a little. There it goes. That's what he needs more of, those. And then teep kicks. Maybe go to the legs a little bit. Lewis playing the pool game. It's the third time he's tried that takedown. And he step, you, you fake the single and you step around. It's not high percentage takedown, but it does work in transition. But from the outside like that, not very utilized, I would, I would say. Volkov going southpaw here. He wasn't going to engage Lewis there on the ground. Under four minutes to go. <laughs> Every time Lewis flurries, this building gets ready to crescendo. Nothing doing there, though. And what's funny is you see Derek Lewis control the pace of fights over and over. Oh! Oh! oh right hand behind the ear, and another one for good measure. Lewis able to survive another onslaught from Volkov. What a chin on Derek Lewis. Man. He looks like he's going to go down, and then he's just winging overhand or something out of nowhere. Almost like he's playing possum. Not here though, that one hits the eye again. That He's covering punch. up his eye, but it, it, it was a punch according to Herb Dean. Right. And Volkov wisely continues to attack that damaged orbital area of Derek Lewis. Under three minutes now to go. I mean, how dangerous must Lewis actually be? for Volkov to be taking this pace when he's got him hurt over and over and he's just so cautious. Well, he's so dangerous that Volkov thought that the mouthpiece wasn't his. Yeah, good point. <laughs> well, Lewis came in, at least statistically, if you care, with the best striking defense among active heavyweights. So Volkov has certainly changed that percentage around a little bit tonight. When you get your mouthpiece knocked out and you don't know you got your mouthpiece knocked <laughs> out, you try to hand it to your opponent. Like, here you go. <laughs> you put this on, man. I don't want it. Ouch. Those hurt. Those will work all night. That teep kick. Go back and forth and then throw a jab out there. You can just slowly chop down Lewis because Lewis has no offense right now. And he's only backing up. I think Lewis is just save, saving it for the last minute. I mean, that's all I could really think of here. He's just wading in, isn't he? Yep. He's trying to pull Volkov, but Volkov won't throw anything. He's just kind of waiting for him, because he knows he's, Lewis is looking to counter him. So he's just playing the waiting game back and forth. It's counter for counter with these two gentlemen. 90 seconds to go. Oh! Watch those fingers! Nice kick to the body, and again. Those are going to keep landing all night if he keeps throwing it. And that's how what Lewis has to do right there. You can't stay at kick range. This is what he needs to do, and he's been waiting for the last minute here. As you can see, he's pressuring now. But if you're not going to be eating those kicks and those jabs, you've got to keep going, and you got to keep pressuring. you got to keep Volkov on his heels. That's a big right from Derek Lewis. See how much the Black Beast has left in the tank, and if he can rally here down the stretch. I mean, he just eats stuff and looks at you. He doesn't even care. Yeah, he just kind of wobbles. Oh, goodness. He wobbles and then looks for a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun to watch, though, because you just don't know what's going to happen. You're exactly right. So 
his wits about him. They help him to his feet. The Black Beast oh has done it. Goodness. Unbelievable. Where's Daniel Cormier at? Wow. Derek Lewis. Unbelievable. It really is, though. It truly, really is. It's Un crazy. Freaking believable. It's crazy. <laughs> He does not care. He'll take a nap in the middle of this octagon right now with the microphone in that his hand when you're interviewing power. him. That kind of power and that heart. Heart he's is touching, right. He's touching his heart right there. He knows. Well, just when you thought his fan base couldn't swell comeback. anymore, I oh present to you UFC 229. This replay brought to you by Nemiroff. Bold character Woo! since 1872. How about that visual there? That's, and this is heavyweights, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Oh! The entire fight, a one-two, down the middle, and then non-stop, disgusting ground and pound. Jab, overhand right, bam, on the money, folded the skyscraper to the floor, and then gets pounded into rubble on the ground. Bam, I mean, you see his head just fold back like a Pez dispenser as his mouthpiece falls out again. Insane power by Derek Lewis. This man knows he had to tough it out and knew if he landed, it would be over. And he proved it. Look at that ground and pound. It's all over. He has that break your face open type of power. And with respect to Cain Velazquez and everybody else, there may be no more dangerous ground striker at present in this heavyweight division than Derek Lewis. Well, I don't know. Just the amount of power that he has in that core and the way that he throws his punches is insane. I think he just took his pants off in the octagon. That's that's a new one for me. Look at that. I don't know why he did that, but he did do it. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro he just care. PCS. Now Metro by T-Mobile. Discover the smarter way to get unlimited and see what's new on <laughs> October 8th. So Derek Lewis came in number two in the world. What a win for him tonight. Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. I'm here with the winner, Derek Lewis. Derek, why'd you take your pants off? It, my balls was hot. I understand. Listen, man, what you just did was absolutely phenomenal. That was a, an incredible comeback victory, and it, it shows one of the reasons why people love to watch you fight, that you can put it all to bed with one shot. I told them, boys, I got no more heart. You know, they keep underestimating me. See, I ain't all that technical and all that, but see, I'm getting there. Fuck it. No one will question your heart, sir, after this. Let's take a look at the knockout. This is a come-from-behind knockout, the likes that we haven't seen in a long time. And you were looking for that big haymaker all night. You found it in the last minute of the fight. Talk us through this, Derek. I forgot a few hours before the fight, Donald Trump called me and told me I got knocked this Russian motherfucker out because they're making him look bad on the news. You know, him and Putin and shit. Fuck what they're talking about, USA and this whole fuck. Listen, Derek, you came into this fight, the number two contender with that knockout. You're absolutely one of the top guys in line for a shot at the title next. So tell us what you think about that. I need to sit my black ass down and do some more cardio. Fuck what you talking about right now. I ain't trying to fight for no title right now. Not with no gas tank like that. She. Listen, Derek. You're one of the most entertaining guys in the sport. Congratulations on an amazing victory. And thank you very much for a really, really entertaining fight. Thanks for having me. Hey, maybe next week or sometime or two weeks from now, I'm going to come on your show and smoke some weed with you. Anytime, sir. Anytime. And you got the best Instagram in the game, I'll tell you right now. Derek Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Houston, Texas has got a heavyweight contender. Epic finish. Pretty epic post-fight interview as well. What we have come to expect from the Black Beast. All right, these fighter stats brought to you by Sandman Well Casino. With the